head of Nebraska prisons says there will be no automatic release of inmates on July 1st. That's the date that Nebraska must certify the prison system is over capacity. Corrections Director Scott Frakes today calls for a new prison but stops short of offering any other concrete steps to reduce overcrowding. KETV News Watch 7's Andrew Ozaki reports from Lincoln. Nebraska needs a new prison. Corrections Director Scott Frake says the state can't fix its prison overcrowding problem by just releasing more inmates. We need to let a thousand people out, or we need to have a thousand fewer people than I have right now. Well, there's only 804 people that are eligible for parole. He makes the comments as he announces the state will not meet a July 1st deadline as prescribed by state law to get the prison population under 140 percent of design capacity. We've been underbuilt as a state for at least 40 years. That triggers an overcrowding emergency declaration and prompts the parole board to ramp up its review process. Officials say public safety and the court sentence will still determine when an inmate gets released. The law does not order a mass release or mass parole of committed offenders. Really the only solution that was offered up by Director Frakes um, was to push forward uh, in building a massive and expensive private prison. That Nebraska ACLU says state leaders have thwarted attempts over the years at judicial reform, resulting in the state becoming the second most overcrowded prison system in the country. It's no surprise that we find ourselves in this really sad moment. The chairman of the legislature's Judiciary Committee says he understands the state would lease the prison and pay up to $70 million a year. We can either build more prisons or we can uh, engage in sentencing reform, which a bunch of conservative states around the country have done. In Lincoln, Andrew Ozaki, KETV, Newswatch 7.